So we are halfway through the last day of getting this thing done. And we're running um, out of time. Like usual, there's always shit that happens, like a turbo stud that snaps off in the in the uh, flange, which took a couple of hours to fix. Um, Won't name names. <laughs> we're just um, just wiring up this EGT and boost gauge now, just roughly. Um, that one there. Mint. So we're basically just pulling um, a switch 12 volt, a ground, and a switched um, illumination 12 volt, which will turn the light on when you've got your headlights on. And then it's just a matter of getting the boost source and the EGT sensor wires to the gauge as well. And yeah. All right, guys, this is the final time this turbo is going on the car. Well, Touch wood. It's, uh, it's hopefully not coming off. And it is, what's the time, like 4.30 or something? Uh, I think it's like 5.30. 5.30. Yep. 5.30. Yep. Fuck. <laughs> I so, saw, you, saw you pick up pace there. Yeah. What, 5.30? Right. So what have we got left to go, Reese? Oil and water lines. Yeah. An intake, and then just mount the exhaust, the dump pipe, and that's how it's going to go get tuned. Maybe, maybe with the mid pipe if we can get it done. Looks like a no. What happened, mate? Uh, don't worry about it. <laughs> All right, guys. So you can see we've got the dump pipe on with the V band there. Semi on. Light of the viewers. You can see Hagenberg. What's up, Dan? So there's our drain into the sump. That is rock hard, so that'll work like a champ. And then you can see it snakes up to the turbo if it'll focus. Probably not. But looks fucking sick. And then you can see the wastegate actuator as well. Alright, guys, first start. Take two. Does that sometimes? Mate. <laughs> You go, boys. Yeah, it's not showing boost. Or... It doesn't seem to be boosting at all. Well, I saw like it, it sounded like it boosted up the street. Yeah, you can hear it's cooling up. It seems to be a bit laggy though for the size. I don't know, maybe it needs more fueling. Must that's mixed job, I guess. Like the hotter the hotter the exhaust gets, the more it's going to spool. So yeah, Let's just double check the uh, engine bay. Oh, 
See how it goes, mate. Is your water in up the tank yet? Yeah, it's got a lot. It sounds better. Oh. How's your uh, EGTs? It's not showing anything. My exhaust temp is definitely higher than that. Yeah, exhaust on. So it's probably just really light. Yeah. No use to this gearbox. Double this shuffle thing. those gears, mate. Let's get away from my house before I can start dosing you. It sounds like a fucking It does. <laughs> like a Macintosh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Should be bursting there. Yeah. I'm going to be here. Did anyone see it build any boost? Yeah. yeah. How much? Four. Four or five? <laughs> really? Yeah. I don't know, I just feel like it should be fucking loading up a lot sooner. Especially with four litres behind yeah. it. Yeah. And there's no leaks. It sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, at least you'll enjoy driving it. Oh, fucking hope. Right. The sound's worth it. Oh, fucking yeah. right. Dude, it sounds. This is probably the best sounding one I've heard. Can someone. Oh. It's so loud, I don't want to keep driving up the street. Alright guys, so we've just taken it for a spin. Uh, it sounds fucking awesome, but we're not building much boost. Um, you know, we know we haven't got it tuned yet and haven't dumped more fuel in, but we still feel it should be kind of a bit more peppy under throttle, especially under load up a hill. I think the max we saw was probably like three or four pound of boost, if that. Basically, we've got no leaks. We've got a feeling that the impeller blades on this turbo are a bit too worn as they actually appear to be because we've got another another Evo 6 turbo from Andrew which you've got sitting in the garage to compare it to if it's not that then who knows so that is basically the the risky run running a second hand turbo or one that you don't know the history of anyway so other than that um, coolant lines, oil lines everything's perfect, no leaks Started first go, runs beautifully, so you know, all in all, job well done. But you know, this shit happens. So, if you're doing this, be prepared for teething issues because uh, custom shit's all about this, really. So, <laughs> um, yeah, we'll recoup tomorrow and see how we go. <laughs> so, while this bloke uh, bundles the final, it's late. the final piece of the puzzle, come on, mate, the camera's waiting. This is mint weld. Go to school for that? Yeah, mate. What are you putting school it on now? Enough, bro. Oh, go on. Dan, I think you better take over, mate. Yeah, do you need <laughs> someone who's unimpaired? <laughs> She's on. That's it, that looks pretty plum. Voila. That is basically complete, so... Like, it looks pretty basic. <laughs> How did this take us so long? I know, what's the time? Fucking 9.20 on a Sunday night. So... We're still going to turn the fuel screw up to see if yeah, we Yeah, we're going to play with the fuel screw. See if that helps with the boosting situation. Yeah, all in all, pretty awesome. So, looks pretty mint. That it does. Rad, dude. Get a bit of the intercooler, bro. Oh yeah. Someone covered it with some fucking grill. What does it say to you? What a shit. <laughs> right, if it builds and boosts, I'd be happy. <laughs> <laughs>